Haircut. Today we're going to talk about 10 things that are named after long forgotten people. Number one, graham crackers. So back in the Victorian times, one of the ways that people thought you could keep down the uh, sinful urges was to eat a lot of really boring food. American preacher Sylvester Graham was a big proponent of this, and he came up with the whole wheat graham cracker as a healthier alternative to all of the garbage white bread people were eating. After he died, the Nabisco Corporation changed the recipe to include a ton of sugar, and that's why everyone's so horny today. Number two, the diesel engine. I always thought that diesel was just some generic science word, like electricity or nuclear. But no, it's actually a guy's last name. Rudolf Diesel was a German engineer who developed a new sort of internal combustion engine in 1892. And I guess that makes sense because you still sometimes see people with the last name Diesel. Number three, the saxophone. No, there's no Joe saxophone, but there is an Adolf sax. He was a Belgian instrument maker from the 19th century who dreamed of creating a new musical instrument that could combine the powers of every existing type of horn. In Belgium, this guy is considered such a hero that they put him on the money. But give them a break. It was either him or Tintin, and Tintin was already on the stamp. Number four, the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel was a creation of a proud American with the proudly American name of George Washington Ferris. He was an engineer, and he was commissioned to design something cool for the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. The hope was that it would outshine the cool thing of the previous World's Fair in Paris, which was a big pointy tower designed by a guy called Alexandre Gustave Eiffel. Number five, the Tommy gun. Though they're mostly associated with gangsters these days, the original Tommy gun was actually commissioned by the United States government. It was invented by a guy called General John Thompson, who was a big muckety-muck in the U.S. Army. Serious gun people still insist on calling them Thompson guns, which sounds a little formal. Number six, Eggs Benedict. Small restaurants sometimes name meals after reliable customers who always order the same thing all the time. This was the case with Eggs Benedict, which was named after Sam Benedict, who was a guy who liked ordering eggs smothered with hollandaise sauce on English muffins at the famous Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York. He was supposedly hung over a lot. Number seven, cardigans. It is perhaps fitting that every hipster's favorite style of sweater was named after a flouncy English lord with spectacular facial hair. The Earl of Cardigan was a commander in the Crimean War, which was fought against Russia. In order to combat the cold weather, the Lord's soldiers had to bundle up with special wool jackets, which became known as cardigans after the war ended. Fun fact, the Crimean War is also the reason why we call those ski masks that cover your whole face baklavas. Woolly face masks were also popular with British soldiers during that war, and Baklava was the Russian port where the British troops were based. Number eight, the Windsor Knot. The British royal family is officially known as the House of Windsor, and the Windsor Knot is named after the Queen's uncle, the former King Edward VIII. After he resigned as king in 1936, he became known as the Duke of Windsor and was considered quite the fashionable dude known for his thick tie knots. Also for being a Nazi sympathizer. Number nine, the Jack Russell Terrier. This most TV friendly of dogs was named after a 19th century English breeder named Jack Russell, who was responsible for creating the breed. Russell was also a parson in the Church of England, which is why we call the shaggier, uglier version of the Jack Russell Terrier, the Parson Russell Terrier. Number 10, the Mason Jar. Sometimes an idea is so obvious by today's standards, it boggles the mind to think it took anyone so long to come up with it. But it wasn't until 1858 that a guy named John Mason came up with the idea that jars should be made out of clear glass and not wood or metal or clay so you could see what's inside of them. I mean, to be fair, it did help drive John Tin Can into bankruptcy, but it was still good news for the rest of the world. So that was my list of 10 things that have been named after people who have long since been forgotten. When I was making my list, I actually came across more names than I could even fit in just one video. So if you know any other good names of things that are named after people that know nobody remembers anymore, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make a second video someday. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.